Products in this video were provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. So in this video we're going to be doing an unboxing and a brief overview of the Fracto Design Celsius S36 360mm liquid cooling unit. So come over here real quick and I'll talk you through it as I'm doing the unboxing and I'm also going to be giving you some more information about something coming up very soon. A little tight lipped but I can give you a little bit of a hint. So come over here real quick. Alright guys, so here she is again, the Fracto Design Celsius S36 360mm liquid cooling unit. So right here we can see the three fan design for the 360mm. You can see the radiator and the leak, the pump itself. Not too much, but on the side here we can see the UPC FD WCU Celsius S36 BK model number. <clears throat> Dual mode fan control, automatic, PWM controlled, sleeve tubing with hidden cables, durable metal fitting, sound dampening layer inside, last generation cold plate technology, or latest generation, sorry. And then we can see the radiator dimensions, socket compatibility, and well, I'll talk you through it as I'm doing this. So let's just go ahead and open her up real quick. So <clears throat> I am going to be doing a bit of a refresh, even though I haven't come out with it just yet, on the darkest light build. Now, um, aside from it being liquid cooled, which I'm still going to be testing the the Arctic freezer fan, the 34 Duo, but I have a little something coming up that's going to be changing the entire darkest light build. I might even need to change the name, but that's about as much as I can get into that one right now. But anyway, so here we go and just open it up over here. All right, and then nothing else in the box you can see. All right, so this is their fifth gen copper cold plate. Here is the user's guide. I'm sure it's going to be just some basic information. Over here is in the event of having received a faulty product, before returning any product, please contact your reseller or Fractal Design. Most issues can be quickly and easily solved through our support team. All right, and then user's guide is going to give you some information how to install it and all that good stuff. But I will be making a video on how to install it, so definitely stay tuned. All right, just basic information. And yeah, all that good stuff. Okay, so I'll just put this aside for right now. And I'm going to put this aside just for right now as well. All right, so it's going to come one, two, three, with three of these fans. These are the Dynamic X2 GP12 PWM fans. The rotational speeds are between 500 and 2000 RPMs. They are LLS bearings, long life sleeve bearings, which have a longer MTBF of 100,000 hours. So that's over 11 years of keeping your PC on so it's probably going to outlast your PC even. These are PWM controlled and also have a noise ratio of 32.2 dBA. The maximum airflow for these bad boys are 87.6 CFM. They have 2.30 millimeter H2O of static pressure. All right. And again, there's three of these guys. You can see they are, uh, they do have a flat cable. Okay. And show you where this goes in one second aside from the motherboard but in this case they actually won't okay now these are all the screws and all the sockets the socket placement and everything the back plates AMD and all that good stuff so 
these are compatible or this unit should I say is compatible with Intel sockets 1150, 1151, 1155, 1156, 1366, 2011, 2011 V3 by the included 2011-V3 kit. It's also compatible with AMD AM2, AM2+, Plus, AM3, AM3+, Plus, AM4, FM1, FM2, FM2+, Plus, and TR4 via the included bracket in the AMD Threadripper box. So, AMD, you can see that here. And I'll get a little more in depth with all the screws and everything a little bit later on. AM4, obviously in the installation video and in the review. And a bunch of screws here with the washers. Actually, just so you could see a little bit of what they are outside of the baggie. And that was this one here, the AM4. See that right there? And the AMD ones. <laughs> And these two little guys, oh, they are adhesive clips. See that there? You can fit in the cables through here. And you could just slide them in through here. Okay, two of them. That's pretty cool, they give you those little clips. All right, so nothing else here. Now this does come with pre-applied paste, excuse me. Now I am going to be testing this with, with this paste and without this paste. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave this on so that I don't touch it or it falls on something. Actually, just so you don't get the reflection so much. Okay. And actually you probably get more there. <laughs> All right. So again, this is their fifth gen copper cold plate. And this is 400, and let me go ahead and put this back on here. Okay, and this pump right here has ceramic bearings and shaft. It is also PWM controlled. It has a sound ratio of 20 dBA at full speed, 1.45 PSI of maximum pressure. This guy has an MTTF of 50,000 hours. And then a lot of people are like, oh, these things are loud. This actually has integrated sound dampening. So I'm very curious to see how this is going to sound. This entire unit with the fans included only consumes up to nine watts. So that's pretty impressive. Now this big, big, big boy right here is 403 by 123 by 30 millimeters. The housing and the fins are made out of aluminum. And then right over here, you can see that right, sorry, if I had a third hand, I could show you this right over here. It has an integrated fan hub, so you can connect up to three fans there. So those three fans that are included now, so this is 400 millimeters of low permeated rubber tubes and they do have nylon braided sleeves. You can see that right here. All right, now back to the pump, just so I can show you right up here. All right, and the little fractal snowflake right over there. Pretty nice looking, pretty slim as well. And then you can see these fittings here. 
actually really nice looking. I would normally expect them just to be, you know, plain black, but these are, they look to be replaceable as well. I'll get some more information on that for you guys. This is also nylon braided and that would connect to the CPU fan header. All right, so sorry about that. I had to do the recap on that since I did miss that originally. So, and then right over here, we could see auto and right over here, auto and PWM. So that's about it for right now. You are going to see a lot more from me coming very soon. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, this is going to be included in the darkest light build. So the darkest light build, aside from having this liquid cooling unit, is also going to go through a huge change. It's kind of like getting new skin even. But that, that, that's about as much as I can say. So anyway, stay tuned and you're going to see a lot more from me soon. Iggy out. See you guys. Products in this video were provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone.